In this video, we're going to go over opportunities and how to create your checklist, edit your stages, and truly customize this opportunities system to really work your transactions as best you can. So I came here under the KW to opportunities and I'm already here under listings, buyers, and leases. So today I can look at any one of these, what we call phases. And if I click on one, like let's say active, this is gonna show me the phase up above, which you can't change the name for that, but everything else underneath is called a stage and that you can totally customize. So mine already looks different than yours because I have customized this to already meet my needs. So what I love about that is you can come here to edit stages and in here you now have the ability to rename anything or add a stage so i wanted to do pre-listing because to me it's not active unless it's really in the mls but i can go from signing our contracts so the pre-listing stage what are the things i need to have done in this and i can come here to the checklist and add items so i want to make sure we signed our contract and it's executed I want to make sure that I've collected the seller's disclosure. I don't want to forget that. I want to schedule a stager if that's something that I do often. I want to make sure I order the yard sign and have it put in the yard and then I confirm the best method of contact. Those are the things that I want. You have the ability to say add item and put whatever you need here. And you can also come to the three dots and edit or delete any of these as well. So I love the fact that you can customize this. Once you've done it, every opportunity will have this checklist from now on. You also have the ability to check a little button for client update, which means once you're setting up your client update settings like daily or weekly, give the client updates, this will add to the checklist. So my clients will get an email saying, Jay has ordered your sign and it's already in the yard and they'll know all the tasks I have done. So you have the ability to kind of edit these. I can add a stage here. So I did photography. I believe this used to say staging because I really wanted to focus on photography. And for me, that's scheduling the photographer, verifying the photos, and then making sure the photos are in the MLS. So I can't complete the actual listing and have it enter in the MLS unless I've done the photography first. Same thing with enter the stage. You get the idea. You have the ability to add stages, edit stages, reorder the stage if you want to rearrange when things are. It is totally customizable. You do this once, and now every time I add somebody to an active stage, so if I move this card to the pre-listing or move it to photography, right here I've got my checklist. So did I schedule my photographer yet? Check. This will now email the client to say, hey, we've scheduled the photographer. I can also set a due date. So this was due, maybe it was yesterday. Hit OK close and now I'm actually accomplishing what's on my checklist. I still have two other things to do and they're due by a specific date. So each time I do an opportunity, I have the ability to come in here and check things off, set my due dates, and then I will be able to see them as well. This works the same whether it is a buyer or seller. You can also sort now by opportunity name, commission, closing date. You have the ability to edit your stages, Go between the different ones under contract closed you're going to come to each one of these so under contract edit stages what are you going to have under contract i want to make sure we've got our escrow do i have the checklist items to make sure that the funds are clear did i schedule my inspection did i do my appraisal financing are we clear to close and i have the ability to add each of the items i want to make sure that we do for here like clear to close i'm going to make sure we did schedule Final walkthrough. I want the client to be updated about that. Hit save. There we go. Now that is one of the options. Come back. So you're going to do that for each one of these phases at the top. You're going to click edit stages for those. Same thing with the buyers. So I'll show you the active buyers. I've got searching for the home, showing the home, bank, which would be financing, negotiations. Legacy, if you see this, is for dot loop. If you bring anything over from dot loop, it puts it in the legacy bucket. And then I have the ability again to edit stages and customize this as well. So that's how you edit stages, customize this, give the client updates. You can click the little gear here as well to go over to the settings for this. So the settings are going to be at a specific time, set from you, sent to the client only, or if there's a co-client, you can send them to both of them, or just the primary client. If you're part of a team, you'd have the ability to say, also send it to the owner or other stuff. And that's gonna be the settings. And every day they will get an email 
about the updates. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KW Connect and YouTube today. Thank you.